Hey everybody, welcome to the Dad Challenge Podcast. My name is Josh. I want to thank you so much for being here today. Before we get started, make sure you hit subscribe button and smash the like just to get this one in the algorithm. This one, you guys have been waiting a long time for. I've been doing a little bit of research here and there. I've been on the Reddit forums. I've been all over. I have had multiple, multiple, multiple messages sent to me. I'm talking hundreds. And it started as a trickle. And it's now like five times a day I'm getting messages. Please cover this. Please cover this. It's Ren Eleanor. I have touched on it in a video past, um, but it's getting out of hand. And I'm going to show you that video I touched on to begin with. And I'm going to show you a couple other things. We're going to go through the Reddit forum and I'm going to go through some TikToks. They're going to piss you off. There's a lot of people leaving the platform or taking their kids off just on this. I'm going to make the argument today that Ren is probably one of the most targeted children on the internet today. Over 17 million followers. It goes back to the thing I say all the time. Why are we waiting for a child to get hurt, kidnapped, killed, or otherwise? You go through the comments on these videos, it will disgust you. Lots of creators have called this out. I'm jumping on board. Every creator needs to call this mom out. This stuff needs to be like, this is a perfect example of why you shouldn't allow kids on the platform because parents will do anything in their power to exploit their children for cash and lots and lots of cash. Get ready to be pissed. Let's go. If you know anything about the Ryan Eleanor case, join the club. I'm starting to know a little bit more. I, I mean, it falls into the umbrella of exploitation. So all you really need to know is that there's a mom exploiting a child for lots of money. And that child is a, a target of predators. You can look in the comments yourself. This child is three years old and has no ability to consent to what her mother's putting online. Okay. The first video that ever brought me to this, this channel is this one. And it pissed me off. It pissed you off. Let's watch it again. How to test how much personal space you get as a mother challenge. Hand your toddler your personal things and watch their response. If they get all of them right, you have your answer. Boom. That's what pissed me off. That's what got everybody upset. Now, I'm going to show you a little bit later how many views this video has, how many saves this video has. It's one of her most viral videos. And it is insanity. She, this little girl is pretending to shave her vagina with a razor. Let's tamp on. Okay. Now I know that pisses. I know that pisses you off. It should piss you off. I know that that's funny to some people, and it, you know, if you're sharing it with your family or whatever the case may be, okay, whatever. First of all, we have had the the conversation about parenting, and, and if you read the comments of that video, which we might go through in a minute, which we did in my other video, you'll just see that people are like, it's half. It's like, oh, this is great. You should be teaching your kids how to shave their vag when they're three. I don't care. Like, I don't, you think I'm stupid? I know I'm a dad, but I would never do any of those types of things in front of my children. Look, I know we have a two-parent household here, and that is what it is. And I know a lot of people are like, well, you're clearly not a single parent because, you know, you, you don't know what it's like. And again, I'm like, no. And I'm also not a stupid moron where I'm like, if you need to do those very personal things, you can do them without your child in the bathroom. Right? I know, you know, putting a tampon in isn't going to take you 30 minutes. Okay? You don't need to have your child there looking. Or shit, when you're shaving your vagina, you're should, I'm sorry, that's just inappropriate. I don't care who says what, that's inappropriate. The rest of the world, the majority of the world, thinks that's wrong and inappropriate. So I don't care. Okay, just wrong. We talk about our kids having innocence and not exploiting them everything. This is part of that. Okay? Especially filming that online for predators to watch. And they do watch, by the way. The second video that, that I had saved in here and I forgot I did, and oh my gosh... I want to show you something. If you guys are wondering who's watching this content, get ready to be very upset. Not sure if I actually showed this to you or not, but this is a this is a TikTok that's been stitched. But this this guy stitched a video of her, an innocent video of just you know doing this. But the, I mean, it's got to be pointed out that this is an adult male, shirtless in a bathroom, and look at his face. <laughs> There is no excuse to put that on the internet. There's also no excuse that when you do find out that your kid is being watched by shirtless adults, stitching them and all that kind of stuff, that you would keep your stuff online. Good parents out there, 
I don't even need to ask you. Good parents know this. If you had your children online and a lot of people were waking up and you saw that this stuff was being stitched and being watched by creepy predators, why would you keep it on there? Nobody would and you're starting to see a whole slew of people start taking their kids off because what they're seeing. It's insanity and the issue is is that at its core, this is, this is Jacqueline, I think Eleanor is her last name, I don't know, taking advantage of her daughter, exploiting her child who's a very beautiful little girl, very innocent and she knows it. And she's taking advantage of her in so many ways and when she gets, when she hears feedback, she doesn't say anything. But when she does hear feedback, she'll make videos and do thumbnails that are appropriate, which we'll show you later. Okay? She'll just, she responds like she likes the attention that she's getting through this. Okay, but here's an article by Daily Dot. TikTok moms are removing videos of their children following concerns of exploitation of three-year-old Ren Eleanor. In a viral video, a mother claims she is deleting any TikTok that features her young daughter and deleting tons of followers after becoming aware of the Ren Eleanor situation. But she's not the first TikTok Kelso, all things Kelso, captioned her video, Save the Children, which has been viewed 674,000 times. But who's Ren, and why does the hashtag Save Ren have over 16 million views on the platform? Blonde-haired, blue-eyed, and the epitome of cuteness, Ren Eleanor was TikTok's favorite three-year-old. With the hashtag Ren Eleanor, having, Ren Eleanor having gained over 351 million views. But recently, the same platform that brought her and her mother to fame with 17.3 million followers have turned against her. TikTok moms have been rallying against Ren's mother, Jacqueline, since early this year, accusing the mother of exploiting her young child on a platform. Scrolling through the mother-daughter duo's account, you'll see videos of Ren with millions of views. Most of them show the toddler in different outfits, dancing, and generally doing kid stuff. But concerned mothers are convinced the account is not as innocent as it seems. It's not. It's exploitation. Kelso gives more context to the follow-up video. Okay, let's talk about this situation for a second for those of you who haven't heard of what's going on. Basically, there's a mother and me account. Eleanor is the mother and Ren is the child. She's okay, like, it's Eleanor is the name. I thought her name was Jacqueline. Probably three years old. The account is mostly Ren. Lots of just little videos of her. There's millions of followers. What caught my attention was there was a video of her little girl that had a tampon and she was posed in kind of an inappropriate way that was like, she was sitting in an inappropriate way, okay? And she was like playing with the tampon. Well, the problem with this video is that there are hundreds of thousands, close to 400,000 saved. You go in the comments, it is all of these creepers uh, commenting all this crazy weird shit. Not to mention in the search bar, there is Ren eating a corn dog, Ren scandalous outfits. She's three. Okay, so I want to show you that. And we'll do that in a second. I'm going to show you what, how to search these things. On that one she's talking about, the most watched video, over 500,000 saves now. Why are there 500,000 saves of a little girl pretending to shave her vagina and put a tampon in and, and, and sitting spread eagle? 500,000 saves. Any mom, okay, I'm not even going to put dads because she's a single mom. If you knew that was happening to your child, you would really keep that on the internet? Really? No, it means that you don't give a shit about her personal safety or her privacy. Here's another video. Normal video. Two point million lux, 14,000 saves. Bath video. Less likes, 58,000 saves. Four times as many saves. So any inappropriate video with Ren gets as many saves. And the saves are where they're sharing it to their groups or to their, um, they might be downloading it, but they're sharing it in their, I mean, in their groups, the predator groups. That's where they're sh sharing the stuff. They're collecting this stuff and again, as soon as I figure out a software that allows me to use it and show you guys, um, there's a what's called um, deep fake software, and I can get it, I have it on my phone. It's called Reface. It's like seven bucks a month, and I can reface a video. I can put any her face or your face or my face on any clip that I want. Okay, and it's almost seamless and it's easy. I'm telling you that this type of content that's being fed up to like you know predators is being used in deep fakes on the web. It is, and it's disgusting. And the mom knows that it's child sexual assault material. It's CSAM, it's not CP anymore. Make sure we're seeing CSAM, even though CP is just as bad. I know. Other videos expose the hundreds of people sexualizing Ren in her comment section, commenting lewd and inappropriate vulgarities. Though moms on TikTok acknowledge online predators of the issue, they believe the mother's a big part to play. Of course she does. The predators are gonna be there. So it's your job to protect your kid from the predators. And a lot of moms will be like, it's not my job. I mean, they're predators. They're going to be there. Yeah, well, so you would put your kid in the in the in in a den of predators because they're there? Are you, are you stupid? 
You're stupid if you say that. Obviously, there are creeps everywhere, and there are a lot of things you cannot control when it comes to protecting children, but you can control the content you post of your children, exactly. You can control the type of content. You shouldn't even be putting videos of your kids on the internet for money. It should never be allowed. I cannot believe this is allowed, that you are allowed to bypass all the rules and everything else and use a child to make millions and millions of dollars with no promise of giving them any of it anyway, because there's no rules in place. I honestly believe that the Ren Eleanor thing is going to be a blow up and it's going to be one of the most important accounts that is going to lead to laws being put in place. And I hope it's not at the expense of little Ren. I really do. I hope she stays safe. I hope that she's not being targeted by predators, which we know she is. Over 17 million followers on TikTok. You don't think there's a few predators in there? You know, like thousands, probably hundreds of thousands, possibly 17 million is a big ass number. And if you don't think there are predators watching and downloading that content, you are wrong. And so you just don't put your kid in that type of situation. You don't. My night, same thing. Eight million. You don't. I don't care if it makes you money. I don't care if you think they're oh, just a single mom. You don't do it. You don't do it. The end. TikToker Danielle, Dula Danielle Tilly, who recently received over 10 million views on a video topic urges parents to reconsider, which we showed you in the last video. Um, it's the creeps fault. And I agree, but the fact of the matter is they are out there and they're not leaving anytime soon. The creeps are always going to be there. It's your job. To, it's your job to protect your children from the predators. They will always be there. They are not going away. So you just don't put your kid into a situation. That's just normal. Common sense parenting. Many mothers say Jacqueline is well aware of the discourse and simply catering her child's content to adult male viewers from choosing revealing poses of Rena's thumbnails in her videos to dressing her in scandalous outfits. There are now deleted video flowing around TikTok where Jacqueline directly addresses the allegations. In it, she jokes about how people are accusing her of exploiting her child. How do you know she's aware? Stop exploiting your child. It isn't worth the fame. Ren paid for this trip. Why is he so sus? Anyway, she's just proving that she knows. The campaign against Jacqueline has gained so much momentum that there was a subreddit created April to address the issue. We're going to go there in a second. The space is not a fan page, but a place to discuss the child exploitation of Ren Eleanor from TikTok. The subreddit has gained over 13,000 members. Yeah, it's got 14.3 thousand members now. Well, there's no evidence at this time of child exploitation. Uh, what? That... <laughs> of course there's evidence. The, the whole channel is exploitation. What? TikTok moms still believe the child is in danger and our mission. This article is assuming exploitation in like that the kid is being exploited by predators. No, it's being watched and viewed and downloaded by predators. But the mom is the exploiter here, everybody. Let's not get that twisted. What bothers me the most about the specific type of child exploitation where the parent basically uses their kid as a farm for content is that the law isn't adapted yet to the current realities of social media. And the law is 20 years behind. It's insane. It's one thing to put your kids in content. I actually think that's fine, provided that you're not exploiting their privacy and keeping respectful. I agree. Alexia continued, but people like Jacqueline don't. The Daily Dot has reached out to Jacqueline, Eleanor, and Danielle Tilly for comment. Uh, they haven't got back. Okay. Okay, so, and I've been sent this video a few times, so let's take a look at it here. Children are on social media, and you haven't heard the story about what's going on with Ren. You need to listen up. Mm -hmm. Ren is three, and she's absolutely adorable. Absolutely adorable. Her mom posts lots and lots of videos and they have 17.3 million followers on TikTok, which I had a hard time wrapping my head around. It's just videos of a toddler. What moms are noticing is how many yeah. times these videos of Ren are being saved. I'm not sure if you can actually see this when my icons show up here, but this has been saved 10,000 times. This one of a three-year-old in a crop top has been saved 45,000 times. Ren eating a hot dog at a fair 375,000 times. 375,000 times because thumbnails of her eating a hot dog. Then people started noticing what happens when you type Ren into the search bar. All these searches come up and that's obviously the top searches for this thing. Um, most of them are gone now, but some of them were like Ren scandalous outfits. She's three. One that still pops up is Ren Pickle. I'm going to take a look at this in a minute because it's the most updated version. Let's see what, what's trending. People started noticing really disgusting comments that men were leaving and um, they got really, really upset about it. Now, I'm not going to post any of the really disgusting comments. I will. Um, but I did notice that somebody posted this. She is so mature for her age. And I started thinking about why was this comment bad? And then I realized 
I actually posted a video of my own daughter on my TikTok. My daughter does not have a TikTok because of all the disgusting things that happen on TikTok. But my daughter was doing the three, two, one bang challenge and I posted it and Shouldn't I got this it. comment. Your daughter is kind of cute. Not going to lie. Hey, Seuss, I thought that comment was innocent when it was posted, but it's not. And then I no, it's not that the video of my daughter had been saved way too many times. So I removed the video. Yeah. Good for you went to her Instagram page, which is private. And I found accounts like this that were following my daughter. My daughter is 12 and a half. The issue with all of the saves and the follows are that people are watching your children and doing disgusting yeah, they things. Are. Protect your kids. Protect your f kids. So this is the TikTok in question. Um, and if you go through the comments, I don't know how to explain this, but it feels wrong. That's a dude writing that. Okay. It's... <laughs> On my phone, I've noticed that it's been here. Let me just break it up so I know I'm getting the accurate view count on it. This one has been saved 385,000 times. Okay? 385,000. You think it's just... Like, you as a mom, you think Ren Eleanor is cute. Are you saving that video? Or are you just watching it and moving on with your life? Who is actually saving the video? It's not the fans. It's not the moms out there. They don't... Why would they save it? They might share it, which is a different thing. Hey, look how cute this kid is. But you're not saving it. Right? I would, I, I'm asking you the question, if you're on, why would you, as a mom, an innocent mom who thinks this kid's cute, save that video? For what reason? Right? I don't think that's, the, my point is, it's not who's saving it. The predators are saving it. Go through the comments, and you, again, you just, it's ordinary feminine hygiene, there's nothing wrong with that. It's, the, the, the kid's three, you dumbass. The kid is three. 30,000 likes on that comment. The kid is three. There is lots of time for her to learn about her body and hygiene. Not when you're three. You can, you should learn how to poop, wipe your butt, okay? There's some, obviously, hygiene. Wash your hands, okay? At three, you're still bathing your toddlers. You're still teaching them how to be clean. That is not what people are saying. That's not suggested for, for a kid. When you should teach your kid to put a tampon in at three, are you, are you, are you effing mind? You're so, that's the problem with the internet, is that there will people who stand up for this, and they don't realize. They are not waking up to the exploitation. <laughs> Walker says, I... It's a dude, by the way. It might have been expected. It may have been unexpected, but it's great that she's teaching her. Society needs more of this. 11,000 likes. Society needs more of this. Why? Are we, is there like some problem where girls don't know about their hygiene? Like, I, like is there some kind of epidemic of people not understanding what hygiene is? Because <laughs> they teach in school. Your parents teach you. You learn. This is stupid. No, you don't need to teach a toddler how to shave their vagina. TikToker writes, this feels illegal. Jessica writes, and you posted this, why? With only 4,000 likes. Anything that's like negative against Ren Eleanor gets like this many likes. And you think like, this looks cool. Like hundreds of thousands of likes. <laughs> Alexandria Subia writes, there's so much criticism in this comment section. What, mo pe what most people don't understand, having a toddler is hard. They're super clingy. Again, don't, this is not an excuse you get to use. Okay, you're still human, you're a mother. You don't have to do this. Anybody, any parent worth their salt in my comment section, would you admit to this? Like, do you, can, are you seriously, you can't find a moment in your life, even as a single mom, to do these things without your daughter watching? Come on, you can't say it, it doesn't, no, I'm sorry. 3x3 three three Matrix says almost 400,000 saves to favorite, which is now over 500,000, 549,000. See, why does she see you shaving your, and then someone writes, she's most likely a single mother. As any mother, your kids always want to be by you, and even if she does, doesn't want to be there, the only choice, no, no, there is always a choice. Okay, everybody, hallways. And John Zina writes, why is the FBI knocking on my door? That's inappropriate, I'm sorry. Someone writes, I just put my phone in rice. You just pieces of shit, nasty pieces of shit. Even if you're joking, this is a toddler. Jonathan writes, I feel like I should be in prison after watching this. Don't watch it then, dude. Okay, so I just want to go through Ren Eleanor's TikTok really quick with you guys, okay? So she's got 17.3 million followers. I tried to pull up her analytics on social book. I cannot get the age demographic and the, and the sex demographic broken down for you. It's relatively a new platform, so Social Book doesn't give it to you yet. Okay, but all we have to do is look with our eyes. We'll go a little older, just so we're not, hey, it's new, we don't have to worry about it. But if you go down this thing, okay, and you look at just a normal, her dressed up normally, 3.8 million views, okay? Um, the girl, in this, in this thumbnail, which you can see here, hopefully, the girl looks like she's topless and has 44.6 million views. The little girl's topless in the in the in the thumbnail. 
where the one next to her, she's wearing just jeans and a t-shirt, 4 million views. Again, she's eating something here, 77.5 million views. Why? Why are the ones where she's eating things have more views than others? You know why. Okay, and the mom knows why. The mom knows what gets her the clicks. The mom has found out way back in the time what gets her the most views are the most inappropriate parts of the videos. Like, you just got to look with your eyes. She's looking... She's looking normal here with a piece of straw candy, 4 million views. Okay, 3 million views, pouring thing. Having a bowl of cereal, 6 million views. Toddler uh, Amazon outfit haul, just a normal outfit, shorts, 4 million. Okay, but you go down a little bit. She's wearing a onesie here, looks like a bathing suit, 49.7 million views. Eating a corn dog or eating street corn, 24.1 million views. And I'm way back in her timeline now where she wasn't as big as she was now. But still, if you look... I'm looking. There's the pickle video, 22 million views. There's the hot dog video, 6.1 million. And like, look at it for a second. This is back when she was getting like, you know, a couple million, 6.1 million. She chose the thumbnail of the daughter holding the hot dog. Now, I know you guys don't want to talk about this stuff. Some people find it really extremely uncomfortable. And, and as do I. Okay, that's so uncomfortable to think about. But that's why it has that many views. Because predators are looking for that type of content. It is disgusting. Okay, same with the feet thing. Another pickle one. So she saw the pickle one get a bunch of views and she did it a bunch of times. The hot dog one, she's got multiple times too. Why would you need more than one of your daughter eating a hot dog video? Because you make money on it. There's 11 million views, putting something in her mouth. Eating a banana, 18 million views. 21.4 million views of her daughter with her mouth open in a thumbnail. In her tongue out. 21 million, that's a while ago. 51 million views, girls eating Flaming Hot Doritos. Or Flaming Hot Cheetos. Why are the views the most on videos of eating? Mouth. That's why. Another banana video. 57.3 million views on that. Of her daughter eating a banana in the thumbnail. You guys, I'm sorry. This woman needs to be straight up in prison. Like, I know the laws haven't caught up to this yet. And so her mom isn't breaking the law. But these are moral codes that she's breaking. Okay? You don't, she knows what she's doing. That's, the, that's what I'm trying to show, show, show you guys here. That your, your toddler is getting millions upon millions of views and shares and saves. Okay? 107 million views for a Disney baby. And that's, that's, that's this baby with a filter on her face to make her look like an anime character. I'll let you figure that one out yourself. 15 million ocean eyes. Again, a lot of the anime filter, like making her eyes bigger and cuter, get a lot. And I'm telling you... That's because creepers are watching that shit. The 78 million, the one where their daughter is shaving herself, is the second most watched video on this, on this channel. But that's what exploded. After that, you're looking at 30 million, of the, her eating her mouth open on turkey, like 30 million. She sees this go viral and then just keeps doing it. Just keeps doing more of it. Okay, so here's something that went a little bit viral. Someone posted about this. <laughs> Makes a TikTok of an application for my twins. Uh, to, to be Scout and Violet's boyfriends. It goes viral. 1 million likes and gains 50,000 follows. I get excited. I can become a momfluencer. <sighs> Discovers mom uncharted. <laughs> goes down a rabbit hole. Realizes the dangers of oversharing kids on TikTok. Decides to delete all videos of the twins. Loses 2K followers. Doesn't care because my babies are getting the privacy they deserve. Good for you. Again, this is a video of her putting whipped cream in her daughter's mouth and has, you know, this is an early video that she probably deleted, but you don't, just don't do this. You don't ever do a video where you're putting whipped cream in your daughter's mouth. You don't do it. You don't do it. You don't do it. Okay. You disgusting piece of shit. The issue is, is that Jacqueline or Ellen or whatever the hell her name is, she knows who's watching. She can read the comments. There's a million videos out there calling her out. She knows it's happening. And that puts that same content on her platform for money. So let's sort by top all time in the Ren Eleanor uh, th uh, Reddit, which has 14.3 thousand members. Um, it's insanity. Apparently this is a message for Ren Eleanor's mother, Jacqueline. Jacqueline, I do not care how to say her name. Good for you. She doesn't deserve you to know or pronounce it right. Newsflash, if you would like to hit the demographic of weird, creepy old men, you can actually do this yourself. I'll mm -hmm. give you some hot tips. You could start a corn account. You could start an OnlyFans. You are a decent looking woman and you're clearly driven and you want to be an influencer. So do it yourself. Yeah. Stop using your two year old unconsensual child that you're going to give trauma to. Therapy can only fix so much. So do it yourself. I'll well, she's saying there is. I, 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 I
So I, I get that. She's like, look, you're, 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 you're a good looking woman or whatever. Here's the thing too. I, I've been looking for the interview, but these predators, and I've seen a few interviews, but there was one video out there. I cannot seem to find it, but it is a predator who attack, who, who, who literally tracks targets, children with single moms. What they do is they get together with the mom because that mom has a single daughter, has a teenage daughter or a young daughter, and they use that relationship to get to the kid. Now, these types of single moms are on the internet and they are targets of people who are not only trying to probably rip them off, but are trying to get to their kids. These moms, how do you know that the guy that you're dating or whatever the case may be isn't some predator looking for your kid? They can never live in safety either. Their relationships always have to be questioned. They will never have a normal life and the kids won't either. That's something to take into consideration. So here's comments on Ren. She then also pulls out a tampon and puts the tampon down to her, you know. Why in the world the mother felt that this was appropriate to put on this app with the amount of disgusting people there are on this app is beyond me. Not to mention, 90% of the people that do it or stitch her videos are men. Yep. I posted a video of what her daughter eats at the fair. One of them had a corn dog or hot dog in it. And a man on this app duetted that video and pulled out his and showed it. He exposed himself in the duet. He was banned, but he actually did it. Not only that, but he also said, you know you like it, to this little girl. She still consistently posts her child on this app for these people to have access to. Music is so distracting, sorry. That's probably why I, I, I might have made her sound really low because I don't want to get copyrighted on the music. That video would have been way more powerful, and I love her. She's amazing. Um, go follow her on TikTok. She she uncovers the stuff. Just stop putting the shitty music in. Sorry, I just your your shit can be super powerful. Just stop putting that in, so we can share it, and not get tagged. But basically, what she said there's a guy pulled out his wang and he got banned for it. So here's some comments that people have pointed out on uh, in, on Reddit. Please make another bath video with your daughter, but less bathing suit. Yep, that's a dude. I don't know. I don't know why these people on Reddit scratch out these guys' names. Don't scratch out their names. I'm not going to. If I go in there and find them, I'm not going to show you their damn names. They don't deserve privacy. I mean, that might be a rule on the Reddit thread. And sure, I'll follow the rule, but don't. They don't get privacy. Call them out. They're predators. I commented on the hot dog video and was deleted and I was blocked. There's a reason she didn't cut up the hot dog. The mother is sick for exploiting her child and making it seem harmless. She was blocked. So here's another comment. Oh, Ren, you are so sexy for a toddler. My... My something emoji fits in your mouth perfectly. You are so... I don't know what the F word is there. Something and sexy. This is a comment left on a toddler's page. Someone tweeted, I think someone has Instagrammed her, uh, said, you need to smarten the F up. There are posts all over the internet sexualizing your daughter because of that butt video you did for her and what their predators saying they want to eat her butt and saying they're getting off to it. Remove your daughter from the internet. Oh my God, what is wrong with you? Protect your daughter. Yeah, this is what everybody's saying. Here's some more comments. Only me. All the stupid emojis with the cap. My friend has interests. He likes small children. Three years or younger would be perfect for him. Maximum five. Any hairstyle, any clothes suit her. No matter what she wears, she still remains the same charming. Someone says, soft baby. Someone says, you truly do make a beautiful kid. Secret ingredient, Jacob. I don't know what that means. I love you, baby. Someone writes, so beautiful. Oh my God. This is, the, this is that girl. I mean, beautiful child. I love Ren very much. This is a three-year-old, everybody. Has fans like this leaving comments about a three-year-old. So here's the video from the bath time thing. Mm, raw kids. She can make anyone smile. Please do a video where you kiss her cheeks with a long kiss. Oh my god. There is no way that baby does not have a boyfriend. She's kind of hot. Can I be her daddy? Hear me out. She hot. I'm taking your child. Too cute. You may have the most famous baby. She is beyond adorable. Adorable. I watch this over and over and over. I love you, baby. Hey. When they stop judging... When they stop judging age, we will advance as a society, someone writes. When they stop judging... Oh my God. These are comments she leaves in, too. She will be a... She will so be a model, bro. I have just finished. I don't know what that means. Disgusting, if it means what we think it means. Def didn't screenshot the third one. That would be insane, which means they did screenshot the third one, which was her shaving her vagina. Just wait 10 more years. She'll be a teen. Oh, my God. How long till she 18? Yes, you can do it. Grow up and be a good girl. Oh, my... If someone ever, ever, and I would never put my kid on the internet like this, but someone ever even just in passing said that about my child, like at a park or something, some dude think he's being funny, I would knock, I would knock that guy out. I don't care if you're joking. 
I would knock you out. The internet is a place for predators to be anonymous, to say whatever they want because they know that and they get off on it. And the parents, sir, again, serve it up. They serve this shit up. She will be beautiful when she's 14. You sick bastards. Here's, a, here's an account named Mark Burnett who's saving all of pictures of Ren in bathing suits and everything else. It's a dude. Look what he's saving. Look at the pictures he's saving. Ren's images are not being used as CSAM. These are rumors made up. That's what her fans will say. Yay stands. Then explain these Pinterest pages that were found liking and saving images of Ren with their saved folders. You're trying to say we're lying? Why when it's clear their images are being used for CSAM for gratification? Look at the photos. Look at the photos that are being saved. Teenagers, little girls, Ren, little babies. You disgusting piece of shit. Look at this. These are kids' underwear. I'm so this one, this one gets me because like there's so look at look at this guy stitching. All right, let's see what she's gonna eat. Pork. That would be so not halal mode for me. Some cocky dough. Kids and candy. Coca Cola. Some popcorn. Some caramelio apple. Water, I'm sure you're thirsty after all that food. Jumbo Bickle. Tootsie Roll. Raspberry Lemonade. I love lemonade. Okay. Why is this guy so all creepy? Right. And a hot dog. <laughs> nice. Hot dog. <laughs> nice. Blafia. Is this is this a parody account or something? I'm gonna be terrified if someone stares at my kids like that. What what is going? Is this who is this, this guy's a che check marked guy on Instagram? 14 million followers. Why did he post that? That's disgusting. What the hell? Okay. Open letter to Ren's mom. I don't know if it's Jacqueline or Ellen. I don't know what the hell your name is. Open letter to you right here. Stop what you're doing right now. You still have the opportunity to take your daughter off of the internet. I know you make hundreds of thousands, if not millions of dollars a year. When you know that there are adult men doing stitches and TikToks and all that stuff with your daughter in them, when you're posting, um, you know, videos of your daughter eating hot dogs, holding hot dogs and eating things and pictures of her mouth, you know what you're doing. Jacqueline, you know, or Ellen, or whatever the hell your name is, you know what you're doing. Okay, so why are you okay with putting your daughter in danger? Like, is the money really going to be worth it in the end if something happens to her? Right? I know you're being rich right now, and you, maybe you have security, I hope you do. But your whole world's going to come crashing down if something ever happens to her, because you are making her a target for predators online. And I think deep down in your soul, you absolutely know, unless you're a f psychopath, which means that you don't give a shit. Any parent out here in my circles knows that if you are going to knows that you have to protect your children and we everybody is calling you out for not protecting your daughter and you are not protecting your daughter and you effing know it. You know what's going on here. You know that you make money. You know that your child is unsafe online. You know that there are probably hundreds of thousands of predators watching your child. They know where you live. They've seen you in public. They are probably tracking you down and you don't seem to give a shit. You're disgusting for doing what you're doing. And you have the opportunity right now to start listening to everybody who is scared for you and your child to take it all down. She's only three. She'll be forgotten about in two weeks. I'm sure all that shit saved out there. It's going to be out there for a while, but at least you're not going to continue to do it because if something does happen to Ren, God forbid, and I hope it doesn't, I swear to God, I hope it doesn't, but you're going to be held accountable too. There are predators out there, but you are feeding her up to predators. Please do her a favor if you love her. If you are her mother, a loving mother, get her off of the internet, please, until she's old enough to consent. What you're doing is wrong. What you're doing is inappropriate and it is immoral. So many people are calling you out for a reason, not just jealous of you and your success. They're actually scared for your child. You're literally in inspiring mothers to take their content down because of how dangerous it is what you're doing. So if other people by proxy are taking their stuff down because of how dangerous it is what you're doing, don't you think you should probably do the same? The laws need to change. So Jacqueline, get wrecked, you piece of shit. 
Every brain. Take a deep breath. If that stuff doesn't make you angry, I like I don't know what will. I'm trying to make you angry. Because that's the only time action starts happening. You need to get angry. You want to know what to do with someone like this? Yes, they absolutely need to be canceled. You got to find out who she's advertising with and you need to reach out to those advertisers and say, stop doing this. That's the only way you take away her source of making money. She won't exploit her daughter because it won't be worth it. This woman makes millions of dollars doing this and inspires people like Maya Knight to do the damn to do the same damn thing. Inspires other mothers. Oh, you can make millions of dollars exposing your children online. They're going to do it. And they do do it. And they don't care. The t TikTok is... I, man, I can't wait for TikTok to be over. And it's going to be over soon. It's going to be over soon. You watch. Like, the, I, it's, it's mind-blowing, the content that they allow on there. It's just the wild west of exploitation. I've said it a million times. Children are being targeted, and we are waiting for somebody to die. I'm t I don't ever want to make that video. Please... Please protect your children. Please. Everybody, thank you for being here watching this video with me and being worried with me and being angry with me, outraged with me, and spreading this video around. You are good parents for not exploiting your children. Keep the kids around you safe. You are amazing, beautiful, incredibly damn valuable. Don't you forget it. I'll see you tomorrow.